is your girl Jay here and in today's video I had something in my contact okay and in today's video I have a just kind of like a transformation video for you guys um, I decided to like kind of just sit and chit chat and we can play around with some makeup and also today's video is sponsored so let me go ahead and shout that out real quick so today's video is a sponsorship with my first wig. They sent me over our beautiful unit, so we're gonna try that on today and just play around, you know. And yeah, like I said, I decided to do kind of like a little chit chat um, video type of thing. And yeah. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so they always send over a little bag of goodies, um, like bobby pins, hair clip, the hair band, all that is in there as well. They also sent over a little edge brush. I love this, I love it so much. And some wig tamer. I mean, frizz tamer, sorry. Um, so yeah, they sent that over. So this is what the unit looks like straight out of the pack. I haven't even combed it or anything yet, but I'm super excited about it. It's a middle part. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. I am loving it already. What I'm actually gonna do is take a clip that they gave me. These clips come in handy when it comes down to getting that good lace out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this lace. The scissors I really like to use are these lashes scissors. So I'm just gonna use those, cause that way they're not super big and I end up cutting off too much. It's pre-plucked, it, so it's already kind of like ready to go, honestly. All right, I'm actually going to use a little bit of this wig tamer. Cool, so I decided to go ahead and kind of do my makeup first. That way we can kind of jump skip ahead with some stuff. I went ahead and applied this Olay Mist and yeah, I love how it smells. It's pretty strong, so you may want to use it in moderation, but I really like it just to kind of prep the skin. This is the calming one. I think they have a hydration one, but this one I'm just gonna use. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the Milk Hydro Gripping Primer. This is something I swear by. Love it, love it, love it. Since it is a late night film, I'm not gonna use a whole lot. But just know I use this on a daily and I'm almost out. So Milk Makeup, how you doing? So yeah, so I'm just gonna apply that. So what's been going on with you guys? What's been up? Um, I've been a workaholic. I don't even know what sleep is anymore, guys. Like, that's just what my life has become. I don't know what sleep is. I don't know what time it is half of the time. And I'm literally just kind of all over the place. So, yeah. <laughs> half the time, I don't know what's going on um, in my life. So, yeah. All right, so for my foundation, I'm going to be using my Minty Cosmetics foundation stick. And I'm using L20. And I was able to bless a follower of mine with $40 the other day because they were able to guess all of the um, Minty Cosmetics products that I was using on my face that day. Um, it was three different products and you had to like literally list what shade in each product that I was using. So it was the foundation sticks, it was the lip color, and it was the blushes. And she was the first person to guess them all correctly. Several people guessed it correctly, but like I said, it's the first person who gets to it, who's, who says it first. And I'm just going off of the comments and I put them in order and go off of that. And she won. So she knows, so if you're watching girl, I hope you enjoyed your dinner. Cause it was, I did this on Friday, today is Sunday. So I did it on Friday and I was like dinner on me. And yeah, so make sure you guys follow up with me on my Instagram because I do kind of little monetary blessings um, here and there when I just feel like blessing somebody and I usually I just poke myself in the face and I usually do it in a form of kind of like a guessing game the first one I did was when I had first got my braids as you can see I took them out already that's just because we're gonna do today's video so I wanted to play around with the wig so I was like let's take the braids out we'll get some more later 
Um, but yeah, the first one I did was I asked you guys to guess how many braids I actually have in my head in total. And I have really thick hair. So I was like, how many do I have? And then um, the girl who won that one, she guessed, she guessed it correctly first. And it was 139 braids. 139. That's a lot of braids to have in one's head. But it's all good. Today has been a cool day. I've literally just been up um, cleaning. I filmed a little video earlier and I did some more cleaning and I did some organiz organizing. I was about to say some organization. I did some organizing. I did major cleaning around the house that needed to be done and all of that jazz. I already cleaned up my, well, actually, ooh, that's one thing I forgot to do. I needed to clean up my car. Like I kind of cleaned it out, but I kind of didn't. You know how you do one of those like, surface cleans and you literally get like a little trash bag and you just start throwing things in there that's how it was so it's not really like a thorough clean it was just uh just throw it in there until you can really do a thorough clean and a thorough clean for me is literally getting the vacuum thing and sucking up all the dirt and just trash or whatever else may be in there and wiping the car down and all of that type of stuff so that's what i mean so i haven't get i, I didn't get a chance to do that today but we'll get to it Hopefully this week. All right, so using the Fenty Beauty foundation stick, well, contour stick, excuse me. So yeah, guys, so we are more than halfway through the year. That's crazy, right? I don't know where, I don't know what's going on. Time is really flying by and like we literally have no time for shenanigans. Um, I've really been like more cautious of what I give my energy to. And a lot of the times when we give our energy, and I know the conversation just flipped, but I know a lot of the times when we give our energy to certain things, it's kind of a, it, it kind of shows like who we are and what we got going on in our mental. Um, not trying to say it in a bad way, but sometimes it's like, yeah, if you were thinking this way, you wouldn't give it this energy, you know? So I've been doing that type of thing, kind of like a reevaluation, um, a reevaluating type of thing just kind of seeing what I'm really giving my energy to and why. Um, so yeah, so that's been interesting, just kind of looking at the different things and um, I'm trying to do more journaling. I used to do journaling really heavily and now I really don't that often. Why, I don't know, but I just don't. Um, I can't even say that it's the time that I don't have because I can definitely make time to journal. I definitely can. I make time for a lot of things, which is why I'm going to be up a little late tonight because I have to make time to film as well. But, um, but yeah, so I have to make time for journaling, but, um, but yeah, as I was saying, I've just been really paying attention to what I'm really giving my energy to. And I've been surprising myself lately because calling myself out, <laughs> I've been giving my energy to a lot of mess for some reason um, I don't know why I shouldn't be it's things that I shouldn't even be entertaining it's things that I shouldn't even be thinking about it's things that I shouldn't even give any type of energy to whatsoever I have to just literally get into a mindset and a mode of where I'm training myself training my mind to not think certain ways because I don't know about you guys but when it comes to my mental man your thinking can literally take you a long way, in a bad way and in a good way. So, I posted on my um, Instagram not too long ago, but I'm like, I don't know who this is for, but literally take time to work on your mental health. Um, work on and really take time to really cater to your mental. Um, don't let that just be something that you talk about and you just move on from it. Like, no, let that be literally something that... That's what I'm trying to get at. Have these constant reoccurring check-ins with yourself um and i got the word check-in from someone that i follow and she was talking and i've heard it before but i'm gonna just give it the credit because that's where the thought came from but um but it was just kind of like how she was talking about how her and her husband they chose they picked a day to do date night um they're married and they have a little boy and she was like yeah it was just me and my husband we went out to to Sonic or something like that and she said we had such a great time her name is so 
Sofa Rush or Sophia Rush. I'll post her Instagram handle and stuff. So just in case you guys want to follow her. But she's so inspirational. Um, I love her post. But anyway, she put, she put up something and she was like, me and my hubby, we just went to Sonic. We planned a day night and ended up at Sonic and had a really good time. And we, we checked in on each other and asked what could we do more for each other and different things like that. And I don't know why that was so powerful to me. I don't know if anyone else seen it or if you see it and you see what I'm talking about. But that statement was so powerful and just so sweet and beautiful because it's like, you're not doing nothing super fancy and I'm not knocking anyone who's doing something fancy for our anniversary or whatever, but just to do the simplest things as, as going out with your husband in a drive-thru and you're just literally spending time together and you check in on one another. So I took that and ran with it and I'm like, okay, I need to check in on myself because so many different jobs and hats that we have, whether our job is demanding, whether we have children, and they're definitely demanding as far as attention um, and time. And then if we have husbands or relationships or just businesses that we're trying to run, just all of these different things are so demanding. It's like we're so focused on making sure those things are running and functioning like they should. But what about us? And sometimes we kind of leave ourselves hanging dry or hanging by a piece of thread and to run off of nothing because we've given all of us to these different things. So I was like, you know what? That's so good. Boom. That's what I got to do. I have to check in on myself a lot more because I'm, I'm putting in more time for my business. I'm putting in more time with my other job. I'm putting in more time with um, family. I'm putting in more time with all these other things. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I gotta check back in to me. So that's what I've been doing lately and just really trying to check back in. And I hate to keep saying the word, but you get what I'm saying. Check back in. I'll list all the products I'm using down below just in case you guys are like, why aren't you telling us what you're using? But one of the main things that I'm using and I'm loving right now is this Minty Cosmetics blush. This one is in the shade Peach for the Stars. And you guys, bomb.com. But yeah, so that's my main thing that I'm kind of, I'm doing right now is just doing this whole self check in thing. And how I really do it is I take time. So whether it's in the shower or whether it's in the tub or whether it's in the car or whether it's me doing my makeup, I just try to get up a little early so that way I can have time to myself. Um, whether it's me eating a meal. And, I'm, and what I'm getting at is when I'm doing those things, um, that kind of has me to have some alone time. I'm not on the phone, um, but I'm more. I'm not on Instagram scrolling because that takes up your your mental as well. You're focusing in on all these different posts that you're scanning through. So honestly, I found myself in my room. Sometimes I'll be eating. I won't have the TV on, and I was just telling my father that I'm like, well, Dad just kind of like a random thought. I'm like, dad, if you want to get rid of some of these channels, feel free to do so. Cause I don't watch them. I barely watch TV anymore. The only thing I watch is Netflix if I am watching TV and you know, but even with that, I've been neglecting my TV a whole lot lately. So, but yeah, so even with that, I don't watch TV like that. I get off social media a lot. Um, I'll get on post what I need to post. I may do a little check in to see what my favorite people are doing or see what's new, you know, different things like that. And it's been really working. And I feel like I talk about this all the time as far as like, um, just doing these check-ins with myself or taking the time to get off social media because it can really take a whole lot out of you. Um, and you can get easily distracted as well. So that's what I've really been doing and just trying to be healthier in my mind. Here's one of my irresponsible little tidbits. So I have a gym membership at Planet Fitness, I have the platinum card or whatever, it's the black card that charges you $20 a month for your membership, which the black card kind of gets you into like the tanning room and just little different things. And I think you can bring people with you when you have the black card or stuff like that. So I have that, so they charge me $20 a month and I don't use my membership at all. I haven't been in probably a year and it's really sad. So yeah. Um, so that's my main thing right now is I'm trying to have these little conference calls with myself to go back to the gym and not just be healthy in my mental, but be healthy in my body. Um, not saying I've been eating the most healthy, healthiest things, but I have cut back on a lot of things that I did like to indulge in. 
Um, I cut out tea out of my diet completely. Um, and that's just, and that's just something I wanted to do. If you still drink tea, don't feel like you have to cut it out of your diet. Because at first it started out as me just fasting from tea, but then it would turn into, okay, I feel better when I don't drink tea for some odd reason. So I just kind of turned from drinking it all together. So that's kind of where I'm at with tea. I'm not against tea. I still think tea is one of the best drinks. Sweet tea at that. I still think it's one of the best drinks that has ever hit the planet. But I did have to cut back out on it until... I literally don't even drink it anymore. So, um, so yeah. So, again, if you do drink tea, don't feel like you have to stop. But anyway, so, yeah, I've just been trying to get better with my mental state and, you know, get my physicality and my physical body, um, you know, my health physically to kind of match with my mental. But at the end of the day, don't lose yourself and try to work so daggone hard. You know what I'm saying? Do not lose yourself trying to work so hard. And then you still don't even get to where you want to be because you're somewhere sick. So it's like, take care of yourself first as well. You know, take that take that extra 10 minutes for yourself. Take that extra time for yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you got to sit out in your car before you go in the house, do it. Do it. Do what you have to do to stay sane. You know what I'm saying? Do what you have to do to stay sane. Don't lose yourself out here trying to become all that you want to be. It's great that you want to become different things and do great things with your life. I'm here for it. I'm cheering you on and I don't even know what you're going for. But yeah, guys, so that's kind of what I've been up to. I've been working a lot. So if you haven't, since I haven't been on here lately, I guess I can just tell you why. Um, so again, I did get a job and I work for a phone company, which is Sprint. Um, and yeah, so it's a full-time position. So I'm literally working five to six days a week. Um, on my days off, I'm still working. So I, I work on a lot of promo deals. I'm working on getting content out. And I've it's been a, an adjustment. I'm trying to gather my words. It's been a serious adjustment because I've been trying to figure out how to still have the energy to do the things that I want to do because I'm so used to having so much free time. That's why I ended up getting a job in the first place because I had so much free time. And I'm like, yo, I feel like I'm passing the day by. Why don't I just get another job that I could actually make some money from um, and just have like another string of income type of thing. So that's, that's the only reason why I got another job. It wasn't like I needed the money. It was just, I just had a lot of free time. So I'm like, well, why not? I need to buy another vehicle. So why not work another job and hustle and just have something else, some other money coming in. That way I can kind of save more money quicker and all these different things. So that's kind of what I got going on as far as work. Um, but yeah, it's been going well so far. I've been crazy tired 90% of the day. Um, it's been, like I said, it's been an adjustment because I'm super used to having my own time and doing what I want when I get ready. So having to kind of clock in is kind of like, baby girl. But it's cool. It's part of my process. I'm embracing it. It's part of my process and I'm glad God has me on um, experiencing different levels of stuff that I'm not really used to doing. Um, I've had a job before, of course, you know, before I even did YouTube, but it's been a long time. So that's my main thing. It's been a long time, y'all. But I've been praying about it and, I, and I've decided on some things and I'm not gonna share it right now because I don't know who from my job may be watching. <laughs> but um, I have decided on some things and, I, and I'm gonna stay for a little while and just let it work itself out and just you know allow God just to move and just see what he wants to do. Cause that's been like my main thing, just like praying about stuff and just not moving. I'm, I'm an impulse person. And I hope that doesn't come out wrong, but impulse as in, or maybe that's the wrong words, I don't know. But I move, like when I think of something, I'm on it. So like you can count on me, if I say something, I'm like, I'm on it, I'm doing it, I'm working on it, it's getting done or it's happening. Like that's just how I am. So I've decided on some things, so just know it's in effect and yeah, everything's good. I'm grateful, I'm healthy, my family's healthy, bills are paid. Mind is regulated. You know what I'm saying? We're good. We're good. And I appreciate you guys hanging in with me. You guys are always constantly commenting. 
Thank you guys for all my birthday wishes as well. I definitely appreciate that. Um, I'm still getting birthday wishes to this day, I think, because people may have not have noticed that my birthday came and went and stuff like that. So I definitely appreciate you guys even taking the time to tell me happy birthday. Shout out to all my people who share the same birthday with me. Happy birthday to you. I just noticed that I did not go grab my lashes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I seen this video. This made me so scared to even get on a roller coaster anymore. But I was watching this video. And I think it was like on the shade room or baller alert or something like that. But it was a roller coaster that literally broke in half. Those type of roller coasters I never get on just because it doesn't look safe. Not no roller coaster looks safe, just for what it's doing anyway, in my opinion. But that one in particular, I just don't trust because it's literally all the weight is on one side, and then the other side is just like a stick. So like as it was turning, it literally folded and broke in half and the, the heavier part that was holding all of the riders and stuff fell to the ground. And I think one person, a teenager, was unfortunately killed and it was so sad. I love roller coasters. I think they're funny. I think they're a thriller. I enjoy them. I'm a roller coaster person. I really thoroughly enjoy a roller coaster ride. I really do. It makes me not even want to ever get back on a roller coaster. But for Memorial Day, I went and I had a really good time and I rode, I rode a few rides. I went to King's Dominion actually and I rode a few rides and it was cool. All right guys, well this is pretty much what we got going on. I haven't, um, I haven't even flat ironed the wig or anything. So I'm just kind of letting it do its own thing straight out of the pack so you guys can see how it looks just kind of straight out of the pack, but I love it. I already know for a fact I want to cut like straight across from here, but I want you guys just to see the unit for what it is just in case you do like this style before, you know, you start playing with it and stuff like that. All right, guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So yeah, remember guys, take care of your mental. Um, it's very, 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 very important. I just feel like sometimes we do get really focused on all the things that we're trying to accomplish and do focusing on other people and different things like that when really we need to seriously just be focused focused in on ourselves and our relationship with God and different things like that so that way we can stay grounded and stay centered. I think that's one of the main important things. I used to take Tai Chi in college and um, that's one thing that we usually did was like finding your center and not even being spiritual or anything but just literally getting grounded and really checking in with yourself, checking in with your mental, checking in with yourself and be like, hey, I've been feeling like this lately. I've been putting it off because I've been busy, but nah, this is something I really need to address and take care of. So, I love you guys. You guys know I love you. I want you guys to be great. I'm trying my hardest to be great. So yeah, I hope you guys like this wig. If you do, make sure you guys check out the description box below with all of the details down below. This is their um, anniversary. So they got a lot going on. I definitely want you guys to take advantage of the opportunity. So all the details and stuff um, according to the wig and stuff like that will be down below. So yeah, again, thank you so much for my first wig for even thinking of me to even use one of your units. I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna let a professional cut it. I love it, but I do know I kind of want it to be like, I really wanted to try one of those bob things on me. So I'm really liking it like this. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna snap up, I'm gonna snap some photos, um, some different things like that. But yeah, guys, I love you guys so much. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. And if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know. And of course, until next time, God willing, I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Mwah.